I thought I'd do a little first look, first impression of the Highwood Birkenstock boot, getting ready for winter here in the, in the Pacific Northwest. And I have plantar fasciitis, so there's not too many boots and shoes that I can wear that don't hurt my feet. And Birkenstock are one of the one of my go-to um, for all my boots and shoes. So I needed something to walk the dog in the winter time, and I decided to get this boot to um, not worry about getting scuffed and and dirty, muddy. Um, so uh, anyway, I recently bought the um, Birmingham, and I really love it. It's very comfortable. It's a nice heritage boot, um, and. There is a price point difference of 200 for the Highwood and 320 for the Birmingham. And you can tell the difference. The leather on the Birmingham is uh, Horween uh, leather, um, similar to Chrome XL. And it does feel thicker and more supple than the Highwood, which is a smooth, natural leather. Um, but they're both very nice and I think this is gonna be a good all around kick around boot for me. It's a Chelsea design with the gore double sides. It has a rubber welt and which will help with the rain and the mud. Um, has the pull on um, loop in the back. It has the nice round toe that I love, which it makes it, them really comfortable for me. And um, it has a rubber, rubber sole outsole and it's just a really nice boot it's a much better looking in person than i found it on the website um, typical of all the boots that i've gotten from them so far i love the bryson boot and it has a very similar look when it's on um, and very similar to the birmingham as well it's just a tiny bit taller than the birmingham and it is taller than the Stalin as well. Um, I don't have the Stalin, but just looking on the website and I talked to one of the reps and they said that this one is taller. Um, they don't give you a lot of information on their website, unfortunately, um, but it does have the blue um, insole um, that they also put in the Birmingham, which is a polyurethane uh, footbed and yeah, the, the uh, insole is made in Germany and the boot is made in Portugal. So I think that's about all the details I have for now. I just wanted to give you a little first look because I didn't see any other ones on YouTube. So um, I think it's going to be a great boot for me and I'm looking forward to, um, to wearing them and getting them broken in. Although I haven't had a Birkenstock boot that really needed a big... Um, break-in period, so I'm hoping these will be the same. They're a little harder to get on than the Birmingham, but not hard, and they're just as easy to get off. So that's about it. Thanks for watching.